Hi everybody, it's great to be back. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and these are the cards that I'll be using this week. The Transparent Tarot and the Everyday Witch because of the Halloween theme that I'm busy with and because of the Witches series. I hope you are enjoying the Witches series. It is not talking about the Witches um, altogether, it is about the environment, about what's going on today in in the in general and also we'll be doing um, recipes and we'll, uh, on budget cooking and health that is where the what we are doing in the witches series and if you would like to get into it yourself then these are the two books this one is the workplace and spells by Marla Brooks we did the series on her oracle card, the witch's oracle cards and this one is by TJ Perkins the healthy witch and it's great fun Georgina and I are having great fun and laughs and she's bringing also things from the outside from other cultures, other beliefs other things that she does and I basically do um, the healing side with the tarot and Reiki and meditation she does meditation as well but where it, it, it's really um, something that you can sit down grab a cuppa and sit in peace and just listen to the conversation and if you buy the books yourself then you can bring yourself back into the strength as well but it's also great fun to exchange this with somebody else and we'll be starting um, the workshops in Georgina and I um, in January so if you would like to join um, uh, in with the workshop it will be 150 euros um, for m maximum of 10 to 11 uh, episodes um, that's how long and it will be once a week and we'll get together um, in Zoom I think that's the best option you can switch your camera off and listen or interact by just talking so I'm looking forward to that but this month it's an exciting month because I'll be making something um, uh, creatively and also something that you can eat so I'm combining two things made out of one so keep your eyes peeled for that video which is coming up uh, which I will be making. We'll also have uh, a person coming in doing reflexology uh, on the face or the hands and we also will hopefully will have Jan in to do her video on the gemstones. So I hope you will follow the um, witches series uh, because we discuss colors of the candles there uh, oils, um, fragrances, incense, etc, etc. It's absolutely lovely and um, you most probably have already seen the video on the candles, making candles at home or buying them, scented and coloured and we go into discussion about that as well. That is with Tracy uh, Castledine. Go and have a look on her Facebook, uh, Facebook page um, uh, love Lizzie uh, so go and have a look but I hope you will enjoy this video for you for your for yourself of course this week because this reading is going to be from the 5th of October to the 11th and time does fly and please click on the uh, the bell subscribe and click on the bell uh, on all then you'll be notified when I go live um, or when new videos are loaded up. I'm so busy with making this series that I sometimes get really exhausted and can't make the um, uh, Friday night live. So I'm sorry uh, for last night I didn't go live but I will be going live tonight. So I hope you will join me there. Take care and, in and have a lovely week and also there's a video um, under updates uh, for setting your settings after you've subscribed and hit that bell 
then you will be notified. Otherwise, you won't be notified. Okay, take care, God bless, and stay safe. And please give me the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao. Hi, Pisces. I've just shaken the cards and I've put them out because uh, it's much easier with uploading. Um, you have the world to start off with. What goes round comes round. There is an end to a phase and you're going into a new phase. Happy, 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 happy. I'm, I'm, I don't know why. I'm also getting very happy. Something is coming uh, to an end. Something big. And there's a new big beginning. Because you've also got the Wheel of Fortune. So if you've been stuck in the mud for, for a little bit. Then your world is changing. The world is your oyster. You have recognition. Because the world also means going up a notch. This could be in a relationship, this could be at work, you could be moving home, you could also be going on holiday, yahoo, look at the rainbow, and so heaven and earth are connected with each other, you could meet any of the other elements, because in the traditional tarot deck, um, we have also the four elements in the wheel of fortune, and I feel I these two cards to me do uh, resemble a lot um, in the same meanings but if you might feel that you are on top of the world and that you're in balance so yeah great stuff new beginnings for you my darlings and the you might be moving home but you don't have to move home you could be moving uh, your business or you could be moving from one business to another business you might be expanding I see the wheel and the world as expansion you're going up a notch you're spreading your wings promotions recognition in love and at work perhaps in your general life somebody has just seen you and fallen in love with you although this is a general reading Okay, um, if you would like to have an extensive reading, then go to the website or have a look for all the details in the description box. Okay, I'm doing a wonderful reading and it's great fun um, with the crystal ball and tarot and oracle cards. Okay, um, so you might be going on holiday. Like I said, these two cards resemble a lot of the same meanings. It's the same with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, you are going up. If you're sitting in the dull drums, the wheel goes, turns and goes up to something better. Okay, these are also my Karma cards. And it's the first time that they've come out together. So Karma will be returned to you, okay? Karma will be returned to you. Threefold. Because if you've done good, you'll get it back threefold. And the same with negativity. Ooh. And I think that could be because you've got the Hierophant. Uh, no, sorry, the Emperor. This is the Emperor in this card. Okay. And I think you might have, if you are in a judicial situation, I think you might have sought legal advice. Something is coming to an end, so if you are in a judicial situation, it's going to come to an end, because the Emperor has given you the right advice. This could be your advocate, this could be your lawyer, this could be uh, a judge that uh, it, uh, has helped you to seek the next step forward. This could also be anybody like a mature man that has given you advice. Okay, it could be a professional, could be a father figure, could be an uncle or uh, a mature man that you respect. And he stood by your side. Okay, he's fought for you to get to the truth. The next step up. Okay, now we're going to shake the cards and then I'm going to do the next layer. You've got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups. It could The lawyer could also be a lady that is an advisor, a mature advisor. It could also be a mother figure. Um, although this is the Emperor 
and he's a man that could be a couple that has given you advice um, it could be with regards to uh, something uh, that um, a lady might be actually offering you something this could be love this could be passion this could be nurturing but it could also if you it could be like a mother that has passed away or an aunt or a friend that has passed away because there isn't finish here and we've got legalities so it could be a finishing off uh, an offer that a grandmother like a trust fund uh, could have set up and that is is on offer for you when you come of age if you're younger than 25 of course then when you come of age it's 21 when she passes away she might have passed away years ago and this is on offer so you might be see, uh, getting news from an official person that there is a trust fund for you okay but you could also be meeting um, a Scorpio as um, uh, Pisces as the Queen stands for Scorpio but don't exclude Cancer or an other Piscerian okay now let's have a look they're not jumping out come on jump out there we are right you might not have known about something okay as you have got the moon you've got the moon okay so perhaps they said I want you to keep the secret until they come of age and that's the dark side of the moon so now you're finding out perhaps it is somebody that is making you an offer um, that is a um, Piscarian because the moon is Pisces or does represent Pisces so it could be uh, a Scorpio or it could be a Pisces and you didn't know anything about this offer that was has been waiting for you so you are on the right path because you are also in the spotlight because the moon the Sun and the stars are spotlights where there are spotlights you are in you're in the center of attention like the world is your oyster you are right in the center again something yeah how do you say it? you're on the spotlight you're in the center of something okay and somebody has recognized that you need some nurturing love or advice this could come from a woman or from a mature man okay wow you're on the right path you're on the north you're on the path to your northern note okay there are there could be secrets like I said if it, it's not about money or um, judicial issues because of the Emperor it could be somebody somebody might fancy you and wants to give you love this could be a Pisces lady or a Scorpio lady okay could be a job that they're offering you okay perhaps in the healthcare something to be of service because that's caring and nurturing as well it doesn't have to be the health service it could also be um, somebody that is like an advisor the Emperor <coughs> okay now we uh, we have the nine of wands something you've been through the walls and I, st I do think this is a judicial issue okay you're right bang in the middle of the a hard time look at the center of the wheel it's coming round okay you are in the middle of the center of the wheel okay so you're the center point you are in the spotlight so there is an ending now there is an ending because a nine is also an ending where there is a new beginning and I feel this is judicial because of the Emperor okay something lawful something to do with municipalities something is coming full circle 
and something is going to become clear to you because you've done your research. The moon means secrets but also uh, you're in the spotlight so secrets will be revealed because you've got the Emperor lying next to it and the moon on it. Okay, This official uh, person, the Emperor or the Queen will tell you the truth or have done their research and is going to give you news. going to do it this way darlings and I'm going to give you an overall energy card or the theme card whatever catalytic card ah, it's not going right that's sticking out and you have the six of swords the six of swords is that you are moving away from difficulties okay you might be moving home look she's packed all everything and she's moving away with two other people okay your family might be moving home you might be going on holiday with your family because the trouble is over the difficulties are over and the uh, the world means m moving home or going on holiday the wheel means a uh, holiday or moving home and now you've got the six of swords so you're moving away from something you're moving away to the end of something something has come full circle wow the phase of difficulties is finished big time great stuff you're going to quieter waters you might be crossing water as well uh, I feel um, as you are traveling if you're traveling on holiday you might even go across the water the sea okay wow and now I'm going to give you a card from the TLC deck let's have a look right your soul story I love it. You've been taking steps by step. That's what I'm feeling. You've taken steps by going to an advisor with regards to perhaps worries. This could be about money. This could be about love. This could be about passion because we have the Queen of Cups. If she's not offering you something, then this could also be something about love or passion. something is coming full circle I don't know you know what resonates with you what is coming full circle my darlings it could be an, an emotional ending okay uh, emotional because you had sleepless uh, nights you've got the nine of wands and it's really the nine of swords at sleepless nights but you're resting now you you're pausing you've thought about it and you've got advice and you will get victory you will get clarity because it, there is an ending to a phase there are new beginnings big time you are being tested naturally you may want to be reassured that you are going to flourish before you put faith into your inspirations boom advisor conversely the way of wisdom is asking you to take a chance by applying all that you've recently learned in all your life's studies towards this moment of opposition you've been through the wars and you've been taking steps by step okay um, bring bring your most valuable lessons whether or not they stem from love or regret and disappointment nurturing love cool upon patience open-mindedness and flexibility to aid you in seeing a new perspective in your soul story an empathic approach brings harmony while the shape sharpness of righteousness can leave a bitter sting well this is your psychic card the moon listen to your intuition and 
there could be a Pisces that is psychic out there. Resist the desire to shrink back and you will receive the reward of your own magnificence being revealed to you and with it the proposition of exciting new circumstances. Yes, the new beginning, moving away from rough waters. Wow, that's amazing. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Take care Pisces, please like and share and be blessed and have a wonderful week. Ciao, ciao.